Hi, my name is Jen Corsi with Thriving Mamas and I wanted to talk to you today about how we can help our kids handle when they have really big feelings. My son recently was overtired and he lost something he'd been looking forward to as a, a consequence for something he'd done and he was losing it. He just could not handle not getting what he wanted, he could not handle the disappointment and he got really, really upset. And as a mom, I wanted to be able to help him. I didn't like seeing him so distressed, but he didn't want my help. And I prayed and I asked Jesus, Lord, what am I supposed to do here? How I feel so helpless, what am I supposed to do? And I felt like Jesus said, you're not always gonna be around, but I am. At some point he has to learn how to find me and apply this for himself, how to calm himself, how to quiet himself. And this is a time to give him some space and then you can help him practice finding me. So eventually, once he calmed down, uh, I said, are you ready for some help? And he said, yes. So I went in and he was laying in bed and we started to try to talk to Jesus, but he was too tired. He couldn't even keep his eyes open. So I said, buddy, I think you just need to go to sleep and we'll talk about this more in the morning. So the next morning on the way to school, we talked about it some and talked about how important it is to find Jesus because sometimes I'm not gonna be around and when you're older I'm not gonna be around when you need me necessarily right then and there to help you calm down and I told him you know as an adult I still struggle with really big feelings sometimes sometimes I want to scream and kick and hit things because just life isn't fair and there's just lots of painful things and hard things but I turn to Jesus and I help he helps me calm down from that and he helps me meets me there and helps me work through those feelings and my son said to me but nobody's taking away your screens nobody's taking away your phone when you don't handle things well when you have a consequence nobody's giving you consequences and I said well actually when you're an adult the consequences get really big if you can't handle your feelings and you can't calm down and recover you might lose your job because people can't trust you at your job or you might lose your family because you're not safe to be around because you can't handle when you have big feelings so the consequences actually get a lot bigger when you're an adult and I told him I don't like giving you consequences but sometimes consequences are needed like losing screen time in order to help you find the motivation to calm down before your the storm of your feelings turns into a hurricane and that really helped him understand that I, I'm on his side here. So we talked about the fact that he'd lost screen time for the day, but if we, when he got home from school, we could interact with Jesus, we could see what Jesus wanted us to know and see what Jesus wanted us to know about next time we have big feelings and how Jesus might be able to help us. And if we could do that together, then he would earn back the privilege of family movie night because it was supposed to be family movie night that night after school. So we did. We talked with Jesus and he was able to find Jesus's peace and just hear what Jesus had to say to him about how to handle these big feelings. Now, I'll tell you, this didn't come by finding Jesus in the midst of upset for the first time. We have done this a lot with our boys. Um, we practice interacting with Jesus a lot and you can find that throughout my blogs, lots of examples of how we have worked with the kids over the years so that they're ready. Because we need to be able to find Jesus when things are calm before we're gonna be able to find him when things are really hard. Because it's just so much harder to find him when, when our feelings are so big. So as a tip, start working with your kids before they get upset on finding Jesus's help. So he interacted with Jesus and I was so excited because a few days later, he had another night where he was overtired and he lost something he'd been looking forward to and he had huge disappointment and his feelings started getting big. And his, I saw the storm coming and I said, buddy, remember last time? Remember how big your feelings got and how not fun that was? Now's a chance. You can calm yourself down, find Jesus's help right now before it gets too big. And he was able to, he was able to calm himself down. Now we had a few false starts because at the end of calming himself down, when he realized the consequence still stands, he still wasn't gonna get what he wanted. He had another little couple rounds of upset, but he was able to keep it from turning into a hurricane because he found Jesus's help. He found the motivation to calm himself down. And he'd had the experience because sometimes when our kids are older, it's about finding the motivation to calm down. 
we have to have practice lots of times with them first so that they actually have the skill, but then they have, we have to help them find the motivation to do it for themselves. So I hope this is encouraging to you, whether your kids are itty bitty or older, we can be with them, we can help them find that calm, we can help them find Jesus, and we can help them learn tools so that they're ready for life as an adult.